my friends what's going on guys my name is kai welcome to my channel and welcome back to tokyo just a little fyi i've tried to film this intro about 20 times and i look like a complete jackass in public <laughs> so today it's gonna be a good day it's a little cloudy right now but the weather seems to be uh gonna it, you know what i'm not gonna restart it the weather is going to get better. The weather is going to get better at around 1 p.m. Uh, so until then, I'm going to do uh, some editing and I'm gonna run over to Family Mart real quick and grab some food. Um, other than that, I've got plans today. So um, we're gonna go to Akihabara. We're gonna go do some video game hunting. What I would like to do is I'm going to do a $25 PSP challenge. So I'm gonna see how many PSP games I can get for 25 bucks. I'm hoping eight. That's what I'm hoping. Um, other than that, uh, we're gonna go gachapon hunting. I'm looking for any kind of miniatures, mini capsule, mini, mini whatever. I wanna make a diorama when I get home. And uh, lastly, we're going to go, hopefully, on the top of a building not like secretly sneak up to the top of a building but um there's a couple buildings here that uh let you get a good view of the city so i've already gone up tokyo tower but when i was uh, when i was on tokyo tower i saw a, a tower that was even taller than that so i think it's in shibuya so we're gonna go there and i'm hopefully also going to get a video of the uh shibuya scramble or the 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 big crosswalk that you guys see on the internet so today's gonna be good excuse this intro it's taken me like 20 times and i'm not redoing it all right um i'll talk to you soon i'm gonna run to the store real quick and when you see me next we'll be heading out and going on a great adventure all right guys talk to you soon hey guys so i got lost again that's like gonna be the title of this whole series lost in japan for sure um but i did run across this grocery store and it's probably got everything i need in there one thing that I do need, big time, are uh, watch batteries because my selfie stick, I always forget to turn the damn thing off and every every time I go to use it, the thing is dead. So I need to pick up a handful of batteries. Uh, also, I wanna give you guys a tour of a Japanese grocery store because they have some pretty crazy stuff in there. So uh, let's begin that, all right? I'm gonna flip the camera around, come on. All right, that's a no-go on the uh, grocery store filming. I didn't realize, but right there, there's a no filming sign. I didn't know that, so I walked in and I just looked like a jackass because uh, I was immediately told not to film. What's going on in there that they don't want to film, eh? <laughs> Either way, um, so I went in there and they didn't have what I was looking for at all. But you want to see the cutest damn thing you've ever seen? Look how tiny this little cup noodles is. Look at it. What is it? Two bites? What is it? A cup noodles for ants? <laughs> oh my, look at that shit. All right, guys. So now uh, I'm going to head over to Family Mart. Hopefully they have the batteries that I'm looking for. And I should say batteries. I'm Canadian. Um, yeah, we're going to have a nice day. Oh my goodness, there's a like a Ferrari dealer over here. Very cool. All right, guys, I'll talk to you soon. I'm just going to take a quick uh, break. Got myself some milk. And yeah, I haven't had a milk basically this entire trip. At the Osaka uh, Capsule Hotel, they had little mini milks. They were like, like this big. Um, they were really good, but there wasn't nearly enough milk there, so... This is not milk. This is cream. God damn it. <laughs> okay, so I just looked up the weather because it's freaking cold here today. And uh, it looks like there's only going to be one sunny day left of my entire trip. That sucks the meat, man. Um, that being said, what I'm going to do is I'm going to plan something really special. What I'm thinking, if I can afford it and it's not too expensive, 
is I would love to go on a Tokyo Bay cruise and uh, see the Tokyo skyline uh, from the ocean, you know? Um, I'm terrified of the ocean, but as long as I'm not in the ocean, I'm okay with it. Um, my dad loves uh, scuba diving, which is something that it, it just scares the hell out of me. Like, I would rather go into space than go scuba diving, but I, I guess a lot of people would rather do that. Um, either way, that's what I'm going to plan. I'm going to plan the Tokyo Bay Cruise. I will get back to you guys with the price and hopefully it's reasonable. Right now, I'm just walking uh, to Family Mart. I got to find some batteries. I got to, uh, I got to get some stuff. Oops. I don't want to get hit by a car though. Guys, I'll talk to you soon. See this tower behind me here? Right there. It just shows up. Oh, now it's disappeared. Oh, now it's here. Okay, so I'm gonna look up what that tower is because at nighttime, it's just lit up beautifully and it looks, it looks like there's like um, a viewing deck. So that would be really cool. Guys, I've gotten over my fear of heights since I've been here, which is amazing. Um, I've realized now that I'm just scared of falling, not scared of actual heights, which is good. So yeah, I'll talk to you soon. There's also a church that's close to here that I would like to stop in today and uh, talk to the father there because we have had some correspondence uh, via email and he seems like a really nice guy. So I would like to uh, stop by and say hello. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna go do that right now. I know where that church is. So off to the church and I guess family mart and I guess whatever else I find, but it's gonna be a nice day. Beautiful. Let's throw some money in here. Oh, hold on guys. Doing this with one hand is hard. All right. Alrighty. Hey, so I found this absolutely beautiful shrine right here behind me. Um, I'm going to go in and just dedicate a little wish to my sister. Uh, she's my best friend, you know, so I always want to make sure that she's on my mind and I'm wishing her the best. So, Sarah, if you're watching, hi, buddy. Um, other than that, get along with your family members, especially your sister or your brother, because they're the best. They'll be with you for probably the longest out of all of your family members. So, love them lots and give them lots of hugs. All right, guys, talk to you soon. Let's go check this out. Hey, guys, I know I'm not the only person who does this, but does anybody make up their own lyrics to songs? I'm telling you, if you start your made-up lyrics with Lick My Bum, you'll just laugh and laugh and laugh with the amount of things that you can come up with. Just a little FYI. Love liner? What is this, for your butthole or something? Do not eat or drink? Well, what else are you supposed to do with this? My friends, okay, so today's turning into a dandy. I love it. Unfortunately, I've been to three convenience stores now and neither one of them have any batteries that I need. Um, I didn't realize how many different styles of watch batteries there are. They're like, good lord. Either way, um, I'm close to the church. It's just behind me here. So I'm gonna go in there, say a little prayer. I'm really, really thankful right now. So I think it would be uh, appropriate. And other than that, uh, I'm gonna try and find like a 100 yen store or a dollar store. And hopefully they have something like that in there. I would also like to get some new socks. New socks are always nice. So that's about it. Let's go to the church. Hey, hey, so I'm at the church right now. I don't know if you can hear this, but the organ is playing. I'm gonna go in, I'm gonna talk to the father. I've actually had some email correspondence with him, so it'd be nice to meet him. Uh, this is a, what kind of a church is this? Anglican Episcopal. Ep 
Paul. It's an Anglican church. Um, I'm Catholic, so um, it might be a little different, but I've already been in here and it's quite nice. And uh, the father's been uh, quite nice to me, even though I'm Catholic. So let's go in. I'm not going to film right away. Um, if there's absolutely nobody in the church, then I'll do some filming. Um, or if I get permission from the father. So I'm going to go do that. Talk soon. All right, so I just finished in there, but I didn't notice right beside here is uh, a church called St. Andrew's. And St. Andrew is uh, very much associated with uh, the Catholic Church. So I'm gonna go in here and see if this is a Catholic Church. Oh goodness, that was really embarrassing. <laughs> so it is a Catholic Church, uh, but I walked in and they're having a funeral for somebody. Oh no. <laughs> The guy was like, are you here for the funeral? <laughs> no. Oh God. <laughs> that's kind of funny. No, no, that's not funny that there's a, somebody died. It's funny that I walked in on that. Uh, either way, I'm gonna head back to the hostel. I've got some work to do. I have, uh, I have a lot of editing to do, so I'm gonna go do that, but I'm still gonna look for that dollar store. And if I find it, I'll let you guys know. Okay, so I finally got my damn batteries. And this, shoot, I walked all around the, the area here looking for the damn Family Mart. My hotel is right there. The Family Mart is right there. It's literally down one street. I don't even need to turn, for God's sake. Either way, guys, um, I'm just getting back to the hostel now. I'm going to be doing some editing for in the next couple hours. And then after that, we are going to head out to Akihabara. And we're going to look for some video games and we're going to look for some Gachapon. And that's about it. For the rest of this trip, I have only got two, 250 bucks left um, that I, I'm willing to spend because I don't want to go home uh, and have nothing when I get home, right? So. Um, so I've got 250 bucks left. That includes all my restaurants, uh, but I'm only gonna go to one more restaurant while I'm here. Um, and But that also includes access to the uh, cruise. And also, uh, I am going to a game at the Tokyo Dome. I'm going to a Hunch and Tigers game at uh, Tokyo Dome, I believe on the 27th. So I wanna be able to uh, maybe get a jersey there. I think that that would be really, Really damn cool uh, to bring home a jersey. All right, guys, uh, so I'm here now. I have to talk to the owner today. Um, we're discussing something that I'm looking very much forward to uh, telling you guys about, uh, but I don't know if it's gonna happen. So other than that, guys, talk to you soon. I want a Coca-Cola, Coca-Coca-Cola. Do you want a cola? I want a Coca-Cola. Do you have a cola? Coca-Coca-Cola. Do you need a... Damn it, there's no Coke in this machine. My friends, okay, so I'm all done editing. As I'm saying this right now, the um, Osaka at night Ferris wheel canal cruise video should be going up. I hope you guys enjoy it. Um, getting on that Ferris wheel was really difficult for me, but... Uh, I think that it was the last thing that made me get over my fear of heights. I'm no longer scared of heights anymore, guys. And that's pretty amazing because when I came down here, I was, I just hated heights so much. Even two days ago, I hated heights. Now I feel a lot better about heights, not scared of them anymore. Uh, I'm still scared of falling, but I think that falling is a very realistic fear that is okay to have, you know? Uh, either way, right now, I'm gonna go down to Akihabara. I'm right in front of the, uh, the station here. So we're gonna go down there. There's one video game that I'm looking for just to complete my collection of the uh, Japanese baseball games I've been uh, collecting. And we're gonna look for some Gachapon. We're gonna look some, for some miniatures. And it should be a fun day. Before I do that though, there's a dollar store here and I'm gonna run in here and see if there's anything interesting. So, oh, nope, there's a no filming sign on it too. A lot of places you're not allowed to film inside, probably because of people like me just coming in to film and not anything else. 
Either way, guys, I'll talk to you soon, and yeah, it's gonna be fun. Hey, so I picked up some wonderful soap at that store, but it is going to pour here. Look at how gray the sky is. Um, it's gonna pour probably in about 20 minutes. So um, it's gonna take me about 40 minutes on the subway. So hopefully it pours and then it stops by the time I get there. Either way, um, that, oh, I have one thing to mention. That PlayStation that I got that I accidentally dropped, yeah, it is broken. It worked for about a week uh, and then it's broken now. I, I don't know what happened to it, but it decided to stop. So if I can find a, another PlayStation, um, I'll pick that up too. If I can find it at a reasonable price. Okay, on to the, on to the train. You wanna see something crazy? Now, I don't know if this kid is lost or if he's just very independent, but there's a little kid walking up on the subway. I don't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Is he alone? Should I help him? I don't know. He kid's like five years old riding the subway. That's so cool. <laughs> All right guys, so I just got to Akihabara, but look at the weather. The weather's so bad. It is going to start pouring probably any minute. So I'm gonna grab an umbrella just in case. Um, yeah, I'm gonna grab an umbrella. I don't wanna be caught up in this, but we're still gonna go to stores. It's gonna be fun. Uh, I don't think I'm going to a restaurant today though. Um, I have everything that I need back at the hostel and there's a big frying pan at the hostel and a full kitchen, so I might pick up a steak from the supermarket because I can get a steak from the supermarket for like 11 bucks. Um, that's much better than spending like 30 on it. So I'm gonna get an umbrella and uh, I'll talk to you guys soon. Okay, I have found myself in some sort of square, uh, but I don't recognize anything here. And I spent a lot of time in Akihabara, so I'm a little, I'm a little lost. Of course I am, of course I am. I'll figure it out though. Subway's up there, that's pretty cool. Pretty cool. Also, pandas. Did you know that nobody knows if a panda is in the bear family or the raccoon family? Look it up, that's a real thing. Hey guys, so I'm at a JR ticket station and I am going to book myself a ticket to Sendai. Um, I don't know if I'm actually gonna go, but I might as well book the ticket while I have my Japan Rail Pass. And then uh, we'll just go for like, we'll go for like a night, maybe? Yeah, yeah, I think I'll do that. All right, I'm gonna get a ticket. Okay, so I got my ticket to Sendai on the 26th, coming back on the 27th. But I'm not even sure if I'm gonna go. Just might as well get the ticket. All right, so. I don't know where I am. Down there looks interesting though, so I'm gonna go down there. All right, oh, sorry. If I find anything, you know what I'll do? I'll let you know. All right, I'll be back. Good Lord, sometimes you're walking down here and then you uh, walk by an open sewer and you just get a big whiff of Wasega Beach. If anybody from Ontario, Canada knows uh, Wasega Beach, you know exactly the smell that I'm talking about. Ugh, yikes. All right, so? Hopefully, Google Maps told me that if I keep walking down this area, that I will get to Akihabara. So, that's a good thing. But this area is really nice too. Even though it's crappy weather, uh, it's cool to have the subway right there. Pretty cool. All right, guys. Also, there's a convenience store, several convenience stores on every single street. There's either a Lawson, a uh, family mart or a 7-eleven no matter where you go they're freaking everywhere i couldn't imagine that happening in canada the only convenience stores we seem to have in canada are circle cakes <sighs> either way i'll talk to you guys soon all right so i apparently found a military shop so we're gonna go look at that okay so i was not expecting to basically walk into a gun store <laughs> It's all airsoft though. Uh, these are not real guns, all airsoft. But I didn't know that you could get, hold on, let me flip the camera. I didn't know that you can get grenade launchers with airsoft. Good Lord, look at some of this stuff. Resident Evil shotgun, very cool.
wonder if they'd let a foreigner pur purchase things here. Could you imagine going through the airport with this? Oh, I wonder if they have a speed cocker here. Good lord, how much is this? $29, that seems a little too affordable. Oh, it's James Bond's gun. Here we go. Good Lord. Nuts. If only I was American. So while I'm not a big gun person, obviously because I'm from Canada and we just don't do guns in Canada, uh, unless we're hunting moose or geese, um, but I do love knives. I do love knives because in Canada you are allowed to carry a knife if you're not using it for self-protection. You just need to say that you're using it for um, a tool, right? And I do use it for a tool, for that, for, for the record. I do use my knife as a tool. Um, but I tried to purchase a Balasong. Yeah, they won't sell that to a foreigner. Not a chance. No way I'm going through the airport with a Balasong. Oh, are you gonna use this for utility purposes? Oh, sure I am, sure I am. A Balasong? Yeah, I just use that normal for cutting boxes. <laughs> Either way, uh, I'm getting out of this store and I'm going down to Trader, which is a big video game store and Oh, you know what? Up here, it says that there's a hobby shop. So let's go check out the hobby shop. I don't know what that means. Does that mean, um, oh, there's a world military. I'm on the wrong floor. Okay, I'll, I'll be right back. Okay, so I went up to the very, very, very top and there's nothing here. It's completely dark, but you know what is here? A window that perfectly shows Akihabara. Wow. Cool, eh? Neat. Very, very cool. Wow. You know, standing up here and looking over all of this, I'm just so grateful, you guys. I'm just so grateful to be here. Um, it's such an amazing city. It, 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 and this experience is just crazy because any of my friends who knew me for years when I was sick, um, they knew that I could never do something like this. Never. I would be unsafe. I, one of my best friends would have to remind me to be safe when I would do things like go to the grocery store. Whenever I would go out in public, uh, one of my best friends would always be like, hey, you know, I'm worried about you. Be safe out there. Even if I was just going for a snack, you know? So to be here in front of all of this, completely alone it's a pretty it's a pretty damn good feeling and it lets me know that i can do anything in the world and you can too you can too you gotta remember i'm not a rich person i'm not i don't come from a well-off family by any means um yeah it's 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 crazy you know if you work really hard uh you definitely can accomplish the things that you're looking for 100 percent um you just gotta work on it you just gotta work hard on them and you'll get to it. It took me 561 days to accomplish my dream. And that might sound like a really long time, uh, but that's under two years, guys. That's under two years. And, if, and my dream was huge. My dream was literally um, coming here from all the way in Canada. And I'm just overwhelmed on how grateful I am to be here. 
and to share all of this with you. It makes me happy that there's people out there actually listening to my words, even if it's, you know, just 10, 15, 20 of you. It means the whole world to me, and I just want to say thanks. So, I'm going to uh, just chill up here for a little while and uh, think about some stuff. We've got a lot of stuff to think about. Let me show you here. We've got a lot of stuff to think about, so I'm going to do that for a little bit. All right, talk to you guys soon. No eat or drink. I love the English here. It should say, do not eat or drink, but here it just says, no eat or drink. That's cool, I like it. All right, look how dark this area is. Very cool. There's a hidden... All right, let's go to number five. Let me flip the camera around. Okay, so the next stop is a hobby store, and this place is cool, this place sells uh, miniature trains. My dad would be in heaven, or he wouldn't care, I don't know. He was a big train guy when he was young. He had this huge set of trains, and he still has it, and they're very expensive. I forget what brand they are, but they're like the brand of, uh, of uh, model trains. Very expensive stuff, and ever since I was a kid, he set it up once when I was a little kid. And then he never ever set it up again because it's it's too it's worth too much. But I would love to see that thing again. Either way, one thing that I think is very cool that I could actually use are they sell these miniatures here. So miniature apartment buildings, miniature stuff like that. I think I'm gonna get this one. So I think that would just be a neat. Um, I think that would just be a neat display piece like to throw on my on my desk at home so i'm gonna pick this up very cool hey so i so i'm not gonna pick that up uh i found out that it's actually like this big so a little too small for what i'm looking for but look at how cool uh, let me flip the camera look at how cool this uh little display is i've always been fascinated with uh miniature things uh probably because i live with some no i'm just joking um let me flip the camera around and show you what i'm looking at very cool yeah people that have like a huge table with all of this stuff uh, laid out it's just absolutely incredible same with uh, Warhammer if you've ever seen a Warhammer setup like a professional Warhammer setup very cool very cool um, that's a hobby I'd like to get into but I live I don't even live in an apartment I rent a room in an apartment so again guys I'm not rich by any means I don't even have a full apartment for myself but um, I have a good roommate so that's a positive thing Either way, it's getting, what time is it? It's almost seven o'clock and the store that I want to go to, I know closes at eight. So I'm gonna get heading over there. And yeah, I am gonna go to the fourth floor though. See what's uh, there. You know what else is here a lot of is uh, model cars. Very cool stuff. Very cool stuff. Okay, I'll be back. Okay, so it seems like this floor just has more guns. And I mean, that's cool. That's cool if you're into guns. I have a funny story to tell you guys when I get out of this store. <laughs> you guys are gonna laugh big time. All right, I'll be right back. You guys wanna see an unintentionally terrifying character? Let me show you. I'll show you the non-terrifying version and then I'll show you the terrifying version. Okay, not so terrifying. Definitely terrifying. Good Lord. Okay. So I have a funny story to tell you. Um, when I was in there, I got out of the elevator and I walked basically just around a corner. And there was, um, there was this couple there, a guy and a girl. And I guess they were English uh, because they understood me. And the girl uh, was super heavy set and she had blue and pink hair. And <laughs> so I said, excuse me guys. Like I was just trying to get past. She turns over. Do I look like a guy to you? Yes. <laughs> and that's what I said. I just, yeah. I, I, don't, I don't understand the problem. <laughs> don't start stuff with me in Tokyo, jeez. 
so funny, man. Do I look like a guy? Well, yeah, you do look like a guy. A weird looking guy. <laughs> Either way, uh, yeah, I'm getting close to Akihabara, to, well, I'm in Akihabara, but I'm getting close to where I need to go. Um, the last time I was here, I actually walked by a store that, uh, it wasn't even really a store, it was more like a stand, and they sold every type of camera that you've ever seen. Like the very first digital cameras where like the, the screen was like maybe an inch by half an inch wide. Yeah, I'm here. I've been here before. Okay, so I'm close. So actually that camera store should be... Hi! You remember me? Do you remember me? Yeah, I bought a whole bunch of postcards and see I'm back. <laughs> Okay, actually, I'm oops. I'm gonna go in here because uh, they have some amazing stuff in here. All right, let me show you. Yeah, look how beautiful this art is. They have some amazing stuff in here, and what I remember, what I remember most from here, hi, are these. This is the one that I got, but you can see that it changes. Oh, that's so cool. This one doesn't do it. Oh, here's one that's very cool. Oh my goodness. Look at this. That's just amazing. Okay, guys, I gotta go. I'm gonna pick up some of these. Oh man, that's such a cool store. And the lady remembered me. She was very, very nice. Um, okay, so if I'm close to that store, then I must be close to that camera store, I think. If not, I'll, f I'll figure it out, I'll figure it out. Hopefully I can find it because um, they had some very cool stuff and I would love to record a video on something that's like so, so old, you know? 240p. You know, I could probably set my camera to that. Okay, copyrighted music, gotta go. Smoking room, oh, shouldn't have said that on YouTube, shoot. Okay, sorry about that little detour there. Um, I'm hoping, I see a lot of Gachapon, but I'm hoping mostly to find that camera store. And I seem to remember it being on this street. I might be wrong though. I probably am wrong. I'm always wrong about these kind of things. All right guys, um, I'm gonna look for some miniatures in this Gachapon store. All right guys, I found something. Miniature vending machine. Excellent, or a mini garbage can. Hopefully I don't get the garbage can. I want the vending machine. Let me go grab some cash. All right, guys, let's see what we get. One. Don't be the garbage can. Good. Miniature vending machine. Awesome. Okay, so I just got out of the video game store and uh, I basically got everything I need. So there's not much else to look for. I did get this though, which is nice. This is a game called Dragon Buster. Um, I don't know anything about it, but it's in a gold cartridge. So it must be good, right? If it's in a gold cartridge. Um, I'm gonna take a look around here, see if there's anything of interest. And uh, then I'm gonna grab a burger. I'm gonna grab uh, like a like a nice American cheeseburger. I don't know where I'm gonna find it, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get a, I'm gonna get a burger. I'll be back. Man, I gotta tell you, I am worn out from video games. Look how scary this looks. I don't know what it is, but it's terrifying me. Yikes. Um. Yeah, there's really nothing, uh, there's really nothing left that I'm looking for. So, I'm gonna get going. I'm gonna go get some food. I'm really hungry now. Hey guys, before I go, let me give you a, a look at the expensive stuff. Sorry, I don't know why it took me so long to say stuff. All right, my friends. All right, so. I'm gonna head out of here. I'm gonna grab a cheeseburger. It's gonna be good stuff. Ooh. Talk to you guys soon. Oh, yikes. I've tripped down the stairs so many times. 
Yikes. Oh, you know what else? I need to go to Don Quixote, which is good because it's right there. Um, but I saw, yes, just over here is a, that way is a Carl's Jr. So I'm gonna go there. Um, yeah, I've never had Carl's Jr. Oh wait, no, I did. I had it at the start of the trip. I think it was good. Either way, talk to you soon. Hey guys, okay. So I'm done my cheeseburger, but I've got some tips for you guys. Anybody coming to Japan uh, from the West needs to hear this. So uh, if you want to eat Western food while you're in Japan, expect to pay a high price for it. So my cheeseburger, not a, not a super cheeseburger or a double bacon cheeseburger, just a regular cheeseburger, uh, was $20, you know? I did not expect that. The burger was good, but it was just a fast food burger, you know? So, if you're coming from the West, prepare to pay a lot for things like pizza and burgers and stuff like that. You might as well spend the extra $10 and uh, go to a nice restaurant because I could have gotten uh, a steak for an extra 10 bucks. So that's just a warning. I wanna show you guys, uh, I found this miniature uh, bonsai tree set. So I'm gonna get one of those for the, the diorama that I'm making. And that's about it. So I gotta go into Don Quixote for a little bit. So I'm gonna give you a, a tour. I'm all out of cockery, so I need to get some more of that. Um, <laughs> so uh, I'll show you up when uh, we're in Don Quixote. All right, bye guys. All right, so I found the Don Quixote. So I found the Don Quixote and uh, yeah, there's a couple things that I'm looking for. I gotta get, uh, what do I need to get? I need to get uh, bath soap, I need to get a bath bomb and I need to get uh, bath, I need to get bath stuff, basically. At the hostel that I'm staying at, um, there's one private bath that you have to rent. It's 200, uh, 200 yen, so it's two bucks. Um, but it's a big, big tub, and I'm looking forward to it because I miss having baths. I, I can't stand having showers. It, it, having a shower feels like a chore, and having a bath is like pure, pure relaxation, you know? So I'm gonna get that and I'll talk to you soon. So one thing that I've wanted to do the entire time that I've been here is uh, play pachinko, which is like, not like a Japanese slot machine, but it is gambling. And you know what? My Oma helped me get on this trip. You know, my Oma really helped me out a lot. Uh, and my Oma's passed away now, but I am a religious man, so I do uh, pray to her, I do, I, I, I do a lot. So don't think I'm crazy or anything, but in a sense, I kind of talk with my Oma, uh, and I can just hear her say, don't you waste your money doing something so stupid. <laughs> Ever since my Oma passed away, she's been living on my shoulder just as my guardian angel, you know? I'm sure, I'm sure lots of you have experienced something like that where a loved one passes away and uh, you still hear guidance from them. So even though I've wanted to play pachinko and uh, I think I could probably win at it, I think everybody probably thinks that, um, I, I can't do it. I, I just can't do it. Not on this trip at least, not on this trip. Uh, my Oma would just get way too mad at me. How could you spend your money on something so stupid? She's German, yeah, obviously. <laughs> okay, so the thing that I came in here for was cock grease, and it's right here. I found it. Cock grease for extra hard hair. <laughs> All right, uh, so I'm in the dawn now, and uh, I should be close to the bath stuff. I should be. I'll uh, let you go, but you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna give you an entire tour of the store, all right? Does that sound good? All right, sounds good. I'll do it in a bit though, I gotta get my stuff first, jeez! All right guys, so I'm in the snack aisle and one thing that I really would like to have are some sour candies. I haven't had anything really sour for the whole trip except for the little sour lemon balls, which were very good, uh, but look at these. Who wants to eat dried, who wants to eat wasabi flavored pea pods? I don't know, man. 
I have one thing to ask any of the vegetarians that might be watching. Um, why do you guys eat such weird snacks? Like, why don't you just eat a potato chip instead? Like, I see these uh, carrot carrot uh, chips, and I see these pea pod chips. What's going on here? No hate or anything. I don't have anything against vegetarians. I'm just confused at your snack choices. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll talk to you soon. I gotta find my Basta. I will give you a tour of the store though, don't worry. Okay, so I'm in a candy section and I fit. That's quite the music they got going on. It better not be copyrighted. Um, so I figured out the name for sour in Japan and it's supai. So I need to find some candy that says supai on it. Except it's kind of hard because um, the Japanese, they have like three different alphabets. They use uh, like kanji and they use like our like uh, Western kind of alphabet that spells the kanji. Very confusing. So, for example, this doesn't have any English on it. I'm going to put English in quotes, you know. Um, so some of it will say like supai, S-U-P-A-I, but some of it will just have the kanji. So. It makes finding things a little bit difficult down here. Oh, look at these. Strawberry Kit Kats. How much are these, $2.99? I'm gonna get something for my sister in here. My sister is gonna have a field day when she gets home because I have so many gifts for her. Good Lord. Oh, Sarah, you're probably watching this. I've got a lot of stuff coming for you, by the way. Um, okay, I still haven't found my bath stuff. I gotta stop paying attention to you guys for one moment and find my bath stuff. I'll be right back. Okay, I found a huge scam product that is sold in, uh, on like Facebook ads, but I found it in real life. Let me flip the camera and show you. Okay, these things, you stick them on your feet and they're supposed to remove toxins. No, they don't. They don't do anything, you guys. They might clean your feet a bit, but they certainly don't suck toxins out of your body. So ridiculous. Look up these things on YouTube and look at how they're advertised. They say if you put these on, after one night they'll be completely black. It's not real, guys. It's not real. Don't fall for it. Okay, everyone. So I'm done my shopping. I brought my passport to do tax-free. Um, I would save like 15%. But then uh, I went into the wrong line and he said, oh, you're not in the tax-free line. Um, this is the tax-free line. And guys, I'm not standing in line for th like three and a half days just to save 15%, I'm sorry. Um, so, what I'm gonna do now is I realize that this tour that I'm gonna give you of uh, the Don Quixote store, it's gonna be a long video because I'm gonna go through the entire thing. So, I'm gonna do that in a separate video. So, um, this video will continue like normal. And then the next video that I post will be a full tour of the store. I'm gonna do that right now. I hope you guys like it. I just don't want this vlog, this vlog to be, you know, seven hours long, okay? So, I'm gonna get going. Um, I'm gonna film that right now. Look at these knockers. <laughs> All right, guys. Uh, other than that, once I'm done filming, I'm gonna get heading back to the hostel. I wanna do some editing, I wanna do some uploading, and uh, my phone's dying, so I, I'd like to throw it on a, a good charger. Mine's on like a trickle charger right now. So, I'm gonna do that. And uh, guys, I just wanna say again, like, thank you so much for watching my stuff. I, I really appreciate it, you know? Um, I came from so, I came from so far down in the, the barrel. It makes me like almost want to cry. Okay, I gotta get rid of these boobs. <laughs> um, I came from so far down that I was literally passing out in the street and being robbed. Um, it, to think about how far I've come is just amazing. And I want to thank you for joining me on this journey. All right? So, enough of that but mishy-mashy stuff. I'm gonna go with filming and I'll talk to you guys soon.
Damn guys, I'm so sorry, but my I was filming in there and I was not allowed to film in there. I didn't know that. There was no signs anywhere that said that you're not allowed to film. So I only got a tour of the uh, first floor. That kind of sucks. I'm sorry guys, not my fault. I didn't mean uh, I didn't mean to blue balls you like that. Uh, I was just told I wasn't allowed to film in there and I'm not gonna be a dick. <laughs> All right guys, so. The night's done for me. I've gotten everything that I need and I'm heading back to the hostel. There is two more things that I need from the drugstore that I can get like right at the hostel. So that's good. And other than that, this vlog is slowly coming to an end. So I'm gonna find the train. I'm gonna hop on that and I'm gonna get back to the hostel and I'll talk to you guys in a bit. All right, guys, so I made it to the subway. Hopefully I don't get lost, though, because I have to transfer twice. Um, and, then, and if you've watched the vlogs at all, you know that I get lost very easily. Uh, so, fingers crossed, let's hope I don't get lost. See you soon.